Hello everyone, this is Lucy and I want to welcome you to our channel Psychodologist, where we do and talk all things dolls. If you are new here, then hello, nice to meet you. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our future videos. And if you are not new here, then welcome back, bestie. All right, I was not able to hold them comfortably, so I kind of have to <laughs> hold them at my chest like this. Hope you don't mind. Anyway, you can probably guess what we're gonna do today because you've seen the title or the thumbnail of our video. But in case you didn't, well, I got these wonderful fashion royalty dolls by Integrity Toys from my friend's shop in the Netherlands. I'm gonna link his shop in the description, so check it out if you wanna know if you're from Europe and you know, you wanna get to know about more shops. So anyway, he had quite a few loose dolls from the Integrity Toys in his shop. And you know, I saw them and I loved them and I was like, they need me, right? They're naked, they need clothes, you know, their hair needs some work. Maybe their eyelashes might also need some work. Actually, I was hoping the eyelashes would be good. Well, they're not. So we're gonna fix them in today's video. And actually on my Instagram account, you guys voted in my stories that that's something that you really want from me, like a tutorial to fix the fashion royalty and other dolls like that, that have fake eyelashes. You wanted to know how to fix them if they're not perfect. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna wash these beauties, we're going to style their hair, and we're going to fix their eyelashes. I have more IT dolls that need fixing, but I picked these three today because I thought that their hair colors go kind of well together, that they, you know, create this harmonious trio. So yeah, I picked these three. We're gonna dive into this video in a second, but please, if you could first like this video so that we can please the gods of the YouTube algorithm so that more collectors can see our videos. We are still fairly new, so any support really, really counts in the beginning. So thank you so much and big thank you to all of you that already liked our videos, commented and subscribed. So this girl's name is Veronique Perrin and there actually is not gonna be a lot of work here because her hair is still styled in her original hairstyle and it's really good. So no need to fix anything there. Plus she has no eyelashes, therefore no need to fix that either. This girl's name is Corinne Dimas. Her hair is actually in a pretty nice state, but then look at the eyelashes. Those are in a pretty bad state. This gorgeous girl's name is Kyori Sato. She's actually my favorite character, along with Natalia Fatale for their beautiful faces. So this girl's hair should also be fairly easy to wash and fix. But then those eyelashes are bad, just like with Corinne. So first I actually took off my rings because I don't want to, by mistake, scratch their plastic, which can happen quite easily, in fact, since their plastic is fragile. And then I took a piece of cloth and I soaked it in water with a few drops of hand soap. I don't want to like submerge these girls into water because I don't want the water to get inside the bodies. Okay, so basically I just take this and wash them everywhere I can reach and then you move on to their face. And obviously you gotta be super careful because you don't want to like hit the eyelashes. Those are super fragile, a little bit of force and they can fall off. So we don't want that to happen. It can be hard to clean the lips because there is obviously the crevice in the middle. So what I do is I take this brush 
and I make it wet by doing this and then I basically get into the lip to get any dust out. And you can do the same with the ear area and with the eye area. Just the same technique. Clean and gorge, but she'll be even more gorgeous later. Now on to our next girl, Veronique. As I said before, this one's gonna be easy. So I don't want to wash this girl's hair because it's really pretty, but I still want to dust it off a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I just take her same cloth and just lightly do this thing. Obviously you wanna be careful because you don't want to ruin the hairstyle. In most cases you don't have to be too careful though because the hairstyle is set with some kind of mousse or gel. I was surprised that there was quite a lot of dust in this area of the ear, so don't forget to get that too with the brush. It's time to clean our third and last beauty for today. How pretty are these dolls? Back in the days when these used to be relatively new, People were complaining that they look angry or pissed. I don't know if I can say the word <laughs> here on this channel, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess when I saw them for the first or second time, I was also like, ah, they're not really smiling that much. But if you look at this one, this is Veronique. I think she has a friendly facial expression. So not all of them look angry. Normally I would follow up with fixing their hair, but I really want to use the good light that is outside right now and I want to do things where good light is needed. So I noticed a little scratch mark on her thigh as I was cleaning her and I'm gonna use this the nail polisher or nail file. As you can see, it has several sides. Some are rough, some are more smooth and those are used for polishing. So first I'm gonna use like the rougher side to make the surface more even. And then I'm gonna use the polishing side to make it look like the finish is the same. Basically what we're trying to do here is we want to make the surface appear smooth again. Please disclaimer, be careful doing this. Always test on some inconspicuous area first because you really do not want to damage your doll. And I never use like the most rough area. So there is one till four. And so what I'm gonna use is three to file it down and then four to polish it. I would also like to give a shout out to my wonderful husband, Cord, who is behind the scenes. He's doing most of the editing on these videos. And I think he's been doing a wonderful job He's still kind of new to video making and I think he's done a wonderful job at learning new tricks and making things look really good. So thank you, Cord. You're killing it. All right, let's wash the girls hair now. We're going to use a dish soap and a fabric softener put into a spray bottle. If you're curious in more information on how I wash the hair, if you want more details, you can watch my Barbie makeover video and I'm going to link it up here. wear a glove to apply the fabric softener. I let the fabric softener sit for a few minutes, like two or three, and we're gonna rinse it now. Now I'm gonna use these two brushes to brush the hair and I'm gonna use this leave-in conditioner from Twin Pines. It's made especially for dolls and this really helps.
And now let's take a mini break with the mini brands. This is the Disney Store Edition and I believe that is Series 1. I found this and I believe we have the Snow White, this guy, and on the other side I believe we do have the Yoda bag, the Iron Man, and the Minnie Mouse. So what would we like to find? Well, Elsa would be cool, obviously. Oh, I want the Black Widow. That'd be dope. Princess Leia is pretty cute as well. I really like her pose here. And over here, hmm, let's see. The telephone's kind of cute. This would not be too bad. And that's pretty cool. Well, let's see what we get. Hmm, I wonder how easy or hard it's gonna be to get inside. Well, let's have a look inside. What do you think we're gonna get? Mm. All right, so that's like two bigger wedges and then three smaller ones. How about we start with the smaller ones? How about we start over here? Wow, I'm really curious, you guys. Uh, can I guess it from here? Like, if it was the Black Widow, I would be so happy. You're kidding me. It's the Black Widow. Seriously. Guys, we are too lucky. We are too lucky because Scarlett Johansson is one of my absolute favorite actresses. And you know what's funny? In the past, people used to tell me that I look like her. I don't know if they were just trying to be nice or they really thought that. But anyway, yes, you can guess that I do have a special connection to this actress. Super happy about this, you guys. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but yeah, I'm feeling really lucky. So let's see what we get next. This is awesome. What a great start. Like you guys, I already got the thing I wanted the most, so I'm already happy. Wait, what? What is this? This was not even on the little poster. What is this? Princess Aurora? Is it terrible that I do not know what it is? Oh, from Beauty and the Beast? Is that what it is? I'm sorry that I'm not like super knowledgeable about the names. Why did I think that was Belle or Bella in the fairy tale? Hmm. But anyway, she's cute. I'm not complaining. I love, love all the pink, obviously. That's one cute princess. We are lucky today, you guys. And also, this is actually the first opening of the mini brands. This is the first time we do it on this channel. So this is really special. Uh-huh. Is that Yoda? Right, that's Yoda. Protect, attack, snack. <laughs> okay, but this is actually really funny. I love this. This is so cute and funny. And my dolls totally are gonna love this. I think especially my Ken is gonna love that. Or maybe my husband's Ken are gonna love that the most because my husband calls his dad Yoda. <laughs> right, so I think I need to give this to him. So we are already past the three little wedges and now we're on to the bigger ones. What is that? Is that like a horse? Or a donkey? What is it? Maybe like mix between a horse and a donkey? Anyway, that's cute. Look at him. He has this thingy. You guys, these miniatures are done really well. It's very cute. Is that a Spider-Man? Right. Cool, is that like a mask? Well, it's too little for the dolls to wear this mask. Or maybe Shelly could wear this or Tommy. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let's understand what's happening over here. Like you guys, I already have a lot of mini brands, especially mini fractions, but as you can see, I'm still not like a pro. 
Okay, we were really lucky, you guys. So thank you for following along with our first mini brands opening on this channel. Hope you had fun. Let me know in the comments if you did. So let's fix the eyelashes right now. You're gonna need a doll that has weird eyelashes. You're gonna need this thingy. That's like a tiny toothbrush. Another one. This one is all plastic. We're also going to need this kind of needle thingy. We might need these tweezers, but we'll see. We also need a Q-tip and we need a little cup of water that is very, very hot. So I boiled it and right now I think it's about maybe 70 degrees. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put the Q-tip into the hot water and we're gonna drop a little bit of that liquid into the eye. What that's gonna do is it's going to make the eyelashes more flexible so we can move with them easier and make them right again. So what I like to do first, I like to kind of use the needle to put whatever is really misplaced into the right place. You might need your reading glasses for this if you need them. And then we're gonna use either this guy or this guy, depending on which one you can work better with. So for me, this one works better. So I just go and brush the beautiful eyelashes. Great. And then if you feel like something is still kind of out of place, you're gonna use the needle and place it right. Okay, it might seem kind of easy in the video, but I'm definitely not done yet. I wanna take the head closer to my eyes so that I can see better what I'm doing. And I cannot do that right now, shooting this video. So I'm gonna work a little bit more on that and obviously I'll also do the other eye, which in my opinion is actually even worse, like noticeably worse. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you the before and after. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm really struggling to put this on camera. So I'm holding my selfie stick with one hand and I want to show you why we might want to use these pliers. So that's because sometimes you, the eyelashes are kind of bent, like the shape is wrong like they're curved a bit too much so what you're gonna do okay i'm not like able to do it so i have to show it like this so you take the like bent eyelash and you kind of like pull it out and by pulling it like that it's going to straighten the eyelash i hope you guys can understand what i'm talking about and as you can see kind of working from this angle can be good because you might be able to see the individual eyelashes better. Okay, so that kind of thing. Obviously don't pull too hard or you might accidentally remove the eyelash. So this is how the babies look after I combed and styled their hair. And now we have to let it dry. The dolls are dressed up already. Are you ready to see them? Let's go!
Don't they look like three best friends? I think they do. They are dressed in wonderful custom made doll clothes done by, and now the name is a mix of French and English, Haute Couture for Dolls. I'm gonna link their Instagram in the video description. I love them. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Corinne is really rocking her suit. I believe Veronique is wearing a dress that's originally made for curvy dolls, but it fits her just fine. And then Kiori, I think, is my favorite. I feel like this outfit fits her like a glove. I'm in love with her. All right, dolls, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed and I believe you would enjoy to watch this video next. I'll see you there.